Welcome back to more Fairly Apparent Shadow Showdown. I'm a nerd of LPs, and I'm very quiet because something is very, very sleepy. In the last episode, we got here to that stream and got all three wishes, which is kind of surprising. This episode, I'm going to show you how the little horn works. What you need to do is press the Y button, and there you go! You can easily get on top of other stuff. Isn't that clever? Very clever. <clears throat> and I'm sorry about the clearing at the throat, but you know. Throat problems. First world throat problems. So I'm gonna meet you guys back over to the main area, and we'll get started with our main journey unless there's a bonus area I forgot to mention in the other area. But most likely I did not, so I'll meet you guys back over there. Shouldn't be too hard. Right. Well, at least I'm hoping. Okay, so we're back here. Pretty sure there's nothing we need to wake up in that area, so let's just stand up here and press the light button. And there we go. Okay. Um, that did not work in my favor, but whatever. I'm gonna refuel and walk and refuel. Walk and refuel. This is your best way to get through stuff real easily. And here we have a weird dream. For your dad, anyway. Does your dad like tools? I can't tell. But some of the tools seem lazy. Don't forget to use your klaxon. The sleepers must awaken. Okay, I must ignore all the weirdness. I've got to shock my dad's brain into useful boat improving activity. Again, really clever with all that they've done with this. Getting everything that you needed. But there's a nice little shortcut you can take around here just by doing this. You really, there isn't really much effort to do this. Okay, grab the light bulb over here. Lower the bug, we're gonna grab the coins here. And quickly, go over here. Don't get distracted by the magnet. And now, we wanna get the magnetic gun, I guess it's called here. We'll get one more those over here, and we get a gift, which is a frog. Ribbit. Oh, ribbit. Wait. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> ribbit, ribbit. Okay, so let's check our progress because I forgot to do that. We got four out of six stickers, one out of two clover leaves, and one video clip. Okay, and we got almost all half of this, uh, more than half of the uh, coins actually. So that's kind of good. So this one is really complicated. In fact, we'll get a good start right now. And there we go. That's a nice little shortcut, so you gotta be really quick about it, otherwise you're gonna have to come back here for quite some time and do it all over again. Now slippity slidey, once you go back down there, you probably won't go back for quite some time, so make sure you do that wisely. Alright, there we go. We take care of those guys really easily. Also, notice the details that they put in this level. Again, this level is really amazingly designed. And I think it suits Dad very well. You won't be getting any of this soon. <clears throat> Especially not now, so... Anything else? Oh, what the heck? Oh! Maybe... Just maybe... We're supposed to stand on the edge of it and then do it. There we go. And then do that. Grab that coin over there. And make your way up here. Let's shoot that because that might be a problem. No, don't do that yet. Stand on the platform, get your magnetic gun, and press Y. There we go. And now let's go ahead and get our klaxon ready. Can, we could just aim over there, right? No, we can't. I thought we could, but we are we back here seriously? What the freak? That is just stupid. Insanity, maximum stupidity. <laughs> that was not very clever at all. And it was not even worth my time. Um, the coins are still there, luckily. So it's a matter of just getting those. The coins don't go away. That's a good thing. They just stay there until you either collect them or you do something stupid. Pretty much everything in a nutshell. 
at this point. So luckily we did that on time, perfect. And let's go ahead and grab that coin right here and we'll make her a fancy way. Now with that, we can go ahead and grab those coins. I want to go ahead and shoot that as well. Things you can do with magnetic guns that you probably normally wouldn't do before. So what we want to do is, let's go ahead and get our klaxon. Oops. And we want to quickly run over to that little light bulb over there without getting hit by enemies. Or dying. Definitely not dying. Okay. Can we make it? Can we make it? Oh, barely! Just enough to get that suit out of the way. Now, I want to go back to the magnetic gun in order to get that. That was kind of cool and kind of cleverly close at the same time. I don't ask why, but that was. So, eliminate you and eliminate you. <clears throat> Perfect. Also, we're all clearing for the win for every episode that I've done it. I will donate 10 cents. Don't ask why, but I will. And more coins. I think this one has the enemies if memory serves. Let's see. Another one of these? Oh, suit! I think that's the last sticker. Awesome, so let's check it out. No, there's one more. Okay. I think it involves these guys. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and just jump on this guy. We will use not our suicide attempt, but we will use the klaxon. We'll do that. And now. This is a safe ship from here. Look at that trophy. That kind of reminds me of the episode that uh, Timmy actually burned his trophy and had to go back in time in order to fix the trophy thing. So glad they made that reference. And yes, more of these timing things. Like, we haven't gone through that already. Now, if memory serves me correctly, we need to time it right here. And I don't think we can just jump. Unfortunately, wish that was the case. That probably would have been amazing, but me thinks that's not a possibility. Also, yeah, you can tell that's gonna be a big problem very soon. But for right now, we're not even worried about that. So I'm gonna go into my magnetic gun. Okay, and we're going to fancy run our way over there and collect this magnet over here. Well, even though we don't technically need it. It's well worthy for our second good luck. There we go. And now here is the really complicated part. This requires serious timing. So pray we get this right. Perfect. Awesome. And now, do we need... What do we need to do over here? Oh, duh. We need to jump over here with the klaxon. Go over there with a the klaxon as well? Oops, did not mean to do that. Let's go ahead. Oh, also I like how she says pincers. Like, that's cleverly cute. And, yeah, that's just a simple thing you can do, so... Turn on the light here. Yeah, they give you a lot of time in case you do mess it up, but most likely you won't. So that's a good thing. And we're gonna go ahead and wake this guy up. And then quickly switch to our light bulb. Right here. We'll take our time. Actually, that's fast. Crap, I did not know that was fast. Okay. This one gotta be super careful on. Probably could have actually destroyed those things for coins. Speaking of which, I will do that right now. Not. Do that. And we'll destroy you for coins. Awesome. We got plenty actually for that thing left. And the final switch is pulled. Come on, pull it faster, Timmy. It's the same old cutscene, so we'll go ahead and skip it. And there we go. That has activated a really nice boat. <laughs> the portal thingy. But how do we get over there? There's an elevator that we could just jump off. 
Because we can. And now, we head back for the final trial. But first, let me go ahead and grab some additional, um, metal things just to be on the safety side. -y. Safety side, -y, who says that anymore? Like, really? You go up to someone and go, hey, wanna go on my safety side? -y? Yeah, that's not a possibility. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, where's the refueler? It's either in this, not in that area, um, this area or another area? I think it's in the stair area. Let me check that without interrupting myself. Is someone talking? I will never know. First world problems. I'm sorry, I'd be really quiet because I thought someone actually did, but not a problem. Okay. So we need to power the boat with fuel? That's right! We need to get in here, Dad! Central thinking cortex thingy! That's where all the brain fuel is! Please! No surgery! Don't worry, hon! We just enter via the portal! But you can't fly! And cortexes must be flown through! A fairy has to do it! That's us! Who do you want to suck fuel from your dad's brain? Me or Cosmo? Well, Cosmo's an idiot and dad's an idiot. Wanda can make him smarter. So we'll go with Wanda for this one. Don't worry, Cosmo, you get your chance. So with this, you just gotta think it's the ape on to shoot. I think it's the A button, if I remember correctly. Yep, it's the A button. And use the control stick to navigate. You can also collect coins here. Probably one of the main reasons you need to get coins. And how many do we need? Maximum? I have no idea. Also, you can shoot these guys and make them cute little clever thingies. I think that's what you need for coins. Yeah. Half of this requires you to go through, get coins through this level. Also, wow, Dad has the weirdest dream ever, I'm not even kidding. But I think Cosmo's faster, either that or I might be sadly mistaken. So far we have not missed a single coin, which is nice. Oh, except for that now. And yes, Wanda, Cosmo and Wanda do take damage, much like the other ones, and unfortunately the coins do not get sucked to you. So you need to be careful here, if you miss any coins, you miss them pretty much. But, it's nice if you're not 100%ing it, because you don't need to worry about that. Look, palm tree, also... Giant pretzel! I want to let that tree, especially, this level especially, is very, very unique. And we got all of them, nice, on our first run. And I think that's enough, yep, well done, you have collected enough for the boat. You can play again and grab the additional coins, but we're not going to be doing that, because, yeah, we have already gotten enough. So with that, we have fueled the boat. What the f- We've glitched. It's an astounding achievement! Also, am I not going? What the heck? It's just getting me to this scene again. What the heck? It's not letting me go. What the heck? Uh, maybe try going on the boat again? This time with feeling? Oh, maybe we need to... I don't know, it's honestly not letting me go anywhere. Maybe stand on top of the boat. Oh, there we go. Okay. We made it to the giant robot. If we destroy it, Dad will wake up. So how do we do that? Uh, I was hoping you'd have a plan. Me too. Luckily, it hasn't seen us yet. Security alert process initiated. Scanning. Tiny life forms detected. Subroutine activated. Source code stomped. Initiating stomp module. Destroy tiny life forms. Run! Okay, so this isn't as cool as H2 Olga, but it's kind of cool. Watch this. 
Now if you butt bounce, you can actually hit him. And what we need to do is... Hey, that got him. Rick, him. And hit his head. Perfect! Right before he could kill me. Awesome. That was actually kind of scary for a moment. I thought it was actually gonna legitimately die there for a moment. But you need to do that two more times, so... Run, you idiot! Run! Oh gosh, that was way too close. Yes, that was alternatively way too close. Now he'll start shooting those things, which I have no idea what they do, honestly. Best thing is to wait on this here and hit him. Perfect. And... Oh, no, 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 no. Get him, get him. No, get him, no! Get him! Perfect, okay. <laughs> little nut was in the uh, cutscene, awesome. Yeah, let's go ahead and skip it. You kind of get the point here. Run, run. You idiot, run! You... No! I hate these things. You don't know whether they're gonna hit you or not. But good thing he did not hit us. That would be a big problem. There we go. Hit him one more time, let's get this cutscene, and let's just shoot him with whatever we got. And there we go, skip this cutscene, and run for the heck of it, so that way we can get a little bit ahead of ourselves over here. Yeah, it keeps going, it keeps going in a little circle, so you don't have to worry. If you run, you actually get a nice head start. Really? He just hit me in the middle of a cutscene. What the heck? What the actual heck? That's not funny. You are a stupid robot. Oh no. What? I said run. I slided. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, it's not that this boss is hard. It's just if you don't know how to control it, right? Yeah, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah, will shoot lasers again, but luckily we're refueled. What? No! Again, really? Are you freaking kidding me? Don't you do that again. Okay. Alright. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Finally. There we go. <laughs> All you have to do is shoot his head and he's instantly dead. I find that hilarious. Times have I told you not to break my giant robot inventions into a thousand pieces? Come on, Dad. It's not that bad. Yep, it is. Ego in turmoil must wake up. That face. Dad? I just had the strangest dream. You were there, Timmy, and you were a very naughty figment of my overstressed imagination. Dad, I need the sugar from your robot. Hmm? Oh, you like it, huh? It's the next inevitable phase in essential technology for very lazy people. Voice-activated remote control robots. You command it using the code words. Which are? Give me some sugar, baby. That's actually, um, classic. You win. Here, have your snake and sugar. Ah. Very slow mo. There we go. I'm going to my den to sulk and have a tantrum. But do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> your dad sure loved his robot. I had to traumatize him, but I got the pixie sugar. And where parents are concerned, it's getting what you want that counts. So there we go. That does that about does it actually. It wasn't as difficult as H2O Olga or especially the Jester. It's actually easier compared to those two. Just me getting dead during a cutscene that was kind of stupid. And oh wait, coin test or 300 feet? How much? Oh, that's 500. Right. I don't have that. <laughs> um, there's not a shop, is there? 
that allows us to do that. And with that, we have access a gate to yet another world. So, what are we going to be doing next time? We'll be heading over to this world. Is there a cutscene with it? No, there is not. As you can see, there's only one level. And we'll do that again next time. So, we got th four more levels. So, we've done four if you're including the tutorials. It's halfway done, you guys. We are halfway done with this game. Almost. Actually, yeah, we almost are, actually. We're halfway done. So if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a like or dislike, whatever you want. Be sure to comment. Be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already for more epic fairy day appearance side effectiveness. How well am I doing? Does it tell you that? <laughs> yes, it does. And I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace out.